we have here is a Ukraine first bill. This bill was never really about securing our border, but about securing another country's border. What we have here is a failure of the elites of Washington on both sides of the aisle, the leadership in the Democrat Party, the leadership in the Republican Party. What we have here is a failure of these elites to understand that the American people want to put America first. 61% of Americans live from paycheck to paycheck, and they want to put Ukraine first. I want you to talk to your constituents at home, the ones who live paycheck to paycheck, and tell them why you're shipping $60 billion to Ukraine. This will be $170 billion. We have never before in the history of the United States flooded so much money into another country. 61% of our country lives paycheck to paycheck. Eight. This will be $170 billion. We have never before in the history of the United States flooded so much money into another country. 61% of our country lives paycheck to paycheck. Eight out of 10 families that make $50,000 or less don't have enough money to pay for their bills in two weeks when their, if their check doesn't come. If they have one interruption in their family, one thing that sets them back, one unexpected expense, they don't have enough money to pay their bills and you want to put Ukraine first. If they have one interruption in their family, one thing that sets them back, one unexpected expense, they don't have enough money to pay their bills, and you want to put Ukraine first. Shalom, shalom, y'all, all praises and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and citations unto the legmen feeding the sheep of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, and sincerity and truth through this great gospel, man, coming out of our Bible. And, um, yeah, pretty soon it's going to be the people versus the government officials. <laughs> the people versus the people that runs, what, this system, right? That runs this system because the regular citizens are being, how can you say, left behind to suffer, to struggle. To suffer, to struggle. And he just broke it down, right? While these politicians are sending money overseas, right? And setting up shop for this World War Three. The people in Babylon the Great are starving, Right? They're losing. You got one dude, he said, yeah, New York is a loser city. A losing city. A city, a loser city. And he ain't lying. Right? You're looking at a failed city. Most of the jobs and businesses are leaving that place. Same thing with Chicago, California. Right? Any place where you got that, um, your three big cities, right? People are fleeing these places. Due to what? Crime. Violence carjackings, killings, murders, homeless, poverty, lack of jobs, right? Look at Oakland. Everything's vanishing out of that place. And it's um, spreading throughout the four corners of Babylon the Great. Of Babylon the Great. It's going to be a time where the doors going to be shut in the streets and the sound of the grinding will be very low, very low. And that's why these people are stealing as much money as they can right now. Right? A bunch of billionaires, millionaires are leaving, are closing their businesses down. Right, selling certain things off, right? Because they see the picture, right? They see what's in the future. It's called war. It's called war. Read the book of Revelation 11 and 14. It reads, the second woe is past. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. The third woe cometh quickly. And they ain't been that far off since World War II, right? They ain't been that far off. <laughs> And even been a hundred years yet, and then the sound of the drum war has been been beat, been banging, right? When it comes to the Russia conflicts in the eighties, Middle East wars in the nineties, <laughs> right? Now they spreading it everywhere, right? Esau got conflict everywhere. Now he's trying to take it to the Moabites, the Chinese, right? And that's a perfect setup for World War Three, Revelation eleven and fourteen. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And through these wars, these elites is going to use you people 
to fight their wars and also issuing that um, population control, right? Sending a bunch of people to go die, <laughs> to go die. It's like in Vietnam and all these other conflicts that serve no purpose, right? That serve no purpose. Like Michael Jackson told you, they don't really care about us. No, they don't. It's the people versus the government very soon, right? The scriptures speak about it. Second Ezra 15 verse 16 For there shall be sedition among men And invading one another They shall not regard their kings nor princes In the course of their actions they shall stand in their power And you're seeing that happen Right, you got the F Joe Biden F Joe Biden You got these other On the other side they trying to put Trump in prison Right, politicians are not being trusted You got mayors in these different Sanctuary cities being hated because they're letting in too many migrants. So everything is going according to what to the Lord's plan, right? Not their plan. I'm reading really again Second Ezra 15 and 16. For there shall be a sedition, right? Let's see sedition, sedition, conduct, speech inciting people to rebel against authority or state of a state or monarch, right? You're already having that spirit of rebel, spirit of re re rebelliousness, right? Because they're talking about, man, we ain't going to deliver to New York City, right? <laughs> they're talking about doing the same thing to other states, right? You got farmers rebelling in different countries in Canada and in Europe. So what's happening? Even in China, they're rebelling against the Moabite president because he, all he do care about is his family and his pockets. And while the people are starving everywhere, everywhere, so it's about to be seditious, right? It says, conduct or speech inciting people to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. Incitement to riot, rebellion, agitation, right? Troublemaking, <laughs> inflaming, rebellion, revolt, insurrection, rioting, insurgencies. Right, disobedience, right, defiance, resistance, civil disorder, civil disorder, and that's what's coming to this place, civil disorder. Second Isaiah 15 and 16 again, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions, shall stand in their power. And that's exactly what they want. They want that order out of chaos. They want the people to rebel so they could clamp things down, right? And um, Esau ain't gonna have no mercy. You see how he treats his own. You see how he treats his own. He ain't gonna have no mercy on you two thirds on Jake's, right? He's gonna clamp down these cities. He's gonna move in with that um, martial law spirit that um, you can't go out after a certain hour spirit. Right, these streets is gonna be shut down. You won't be able to travel to different areas. So we know that this is coming because the scriptures done told us. So this Ecclesiasticus 14 and 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. Right? Because wait till you see Esau turn up. You Negroes you're gonna see how really bad this devil really is. You're really gonna find out how much this devil really hates you. Because He's, who, what, what areas do you think he's going to come down with most wrath on? You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you Israelite communities, right? They already just did a test trial where they shut off the phones, <laughs> right? Motherfuckers can't make no calls. <laughs> Your phone services was interrupted. You can't make no calls. So they, gonna put, they see that it works. They can do it. And the funny thing is I was just thinking about this like four days ago about, man, them turning off all these phones. And next thing you know, it'll pop up. So we are getting closer and closer to the times, right? They're doing test trials, Jade Helm, shutting down different cities, seeing how the people react with mil militias moving around. So everything is being set up for what? Destruction of the people. <laughs> Destruction of the people. Because it is the government versus the people, the elites versus the people. This is the book of Proverbs 28, verse 15. It reads, as a roaring lion and a raging bear so is a wicked ruler over the people, over the poor people. <laughs> over the poor people, yeah, they're going to show you their facts. They're going to show you that you they never cared nothing about you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? Especially you dumbass Negroes who don't join on to Republicans and Democrats, right? 
thinking that you're part of their system, thinking that you done made it, because they give you a chance to vote when your vote don't count. When your vote don't count, right? This is the book of Proverbs 29 and 12. It reads, if a ruler hearken lies, all his servants are wicked. All his servants are wicked. And we know the, the society is ran by lying men, wicked men. So all you people, oh, I want to vote for Trump. I want to vote for Biden. All of you motherfuckers is wicked. And um, when it's time to, for the judgment to begin, your children going to be judged. They're going to be um, drafted. Right? You voted for these politicians. They're going to send your kids off to war. Right? <laughs> You're going to ask them to stop the crime and clamp down on crime and violence. And guess what? They're going to put in that martial law and you're going to be affected. Right? Prepare for a changing of how things operate in this society, man. These devils are setting up this new world order.